Okay, welcome to Geometry Project 4. This is uh, a brief talk about section 1.4 of Geometry Revisited, the in-circle and the x-circles. So, the first part of this section talks about the, uh, the inscribed circle in a triangle. Now, I, we mentioned in uh, section 1.3 that the center of the inscribed triangle is at the intersection of the angle bisectors. Center is the intersection of the angle bisectors. And that's called the in center. I also mentioned briefly at the end of uh, the third lecture that you'll notice that the, these two lines go, or these two line segments going away from B are a tangent to the circle at X and Z, and external tangents from the same point have the same length. So let's call these y, little y, following the convention in the book. Um, these tangents from c to the circle have the same length that the book calls little z. And the tangents from a have the same length, and the, little, the book calls those x. So you'll, you'll see that the perimeter of the triangle equals side a plus side b plus side c which happens to equal 2x plus 2y plus 2z. And they adopt the convention that S, sometimes called the semi-perimeter, which is just half the perimeter, equals x plus y. And you may recognize the symbol S from Hero's formula, which I'll get to in a second. Now, they go through a little math in the uh, in the book, and it's not too hard to see that the side A here, side A, S is X plus Y plus Z, so A, the side A equals S. Sorry, right, I wrote it exactly wrong. X equals little x equals S minus A. Um, for the same, for the exact same reason, this is x plus y. So z, this side c, equals s minus c, side length c. And similarly, this side, this length y, now it's getting too crowded. Let's just say that y equals s minus c s minus b. So, uh, what are we what are we going to do with that? Well, we're going to we're going to develop another formula for the area of a triangle. And you'll notice that we have the radius of the inscribed circle there. And if we look at this triangle, see what does the book call that point? Calls it i. The area of triangle ICB equals the radius of the inscribed circle times S minus A. In other words, the base times the height of this triangle. The triangle IAB, this triangle here, the area is the height R times S minus C. And this triangle here, I'll well, insert this way, IAC equals R times S minus B for the same reason. But you'll notice that these three triangles add up to be the whole triangle. So the area of ABC equals R times S minus A. Plus S minus B. Plus S minus C. Which is, if you remember what S was, S was equal to 1 half A plus B plus C. So I got 3S. 
which is r times 3 a plus 3b plus 3c all divided by 2 minus a b plus b plus c. Oh, I hope this is on camera. Equals just simply r times a plus b plus c over 2, which is s. So we come up with a fascinating formula for the area of a triangle that the area equals the radius of the inscribed circle times half the perimeter. We learned earlier that the area of the triangle is also to equal to the product of the sides, A, B, C over 4R. And Hero's formula tells us that the area equals the square root of S, S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. So here we have three fascinating formulas for the area of the triangle. And these are sort of a staple for any, anyone in high school doing uh, contest math. You've got to know those, those three formulas because you never know when they're going to come in handy. So that's all I really wanted to talk about in this section in detail. But I do want to show the picture uh, from the next section about the X circles. So I'm going to turn the camera off and draw that picture and show you one more fascinating thing. Okay, so this is a uh, copying the picture out of the book to describe something called the X circles. And so let's reconstruct this picture. I'll get my handy pointer. We start out with our original triangle, ABC. And then we extend the sides in either direction. So here's side AC extended, side BC extended, and side BA extended. And, and then you take the blue lines, which are the, which are the angle bisectors of the exterior angle. You see this angle here and this angle here. The blue lines are the angle bisectors of the exterior angles, and it turns out that those form a triangle. And it turns out that this triangle has some very special properties that are actually pretty amazing. This shows how rich of a field geometry is. I've, I've actually never heard about this until reading this book. So they form a triangle, and it turns out that the corners, the, the corners of those triangles happen to be the centers of circles. And the circles are called the X circles of the triangle, and they're tangent to the three sides externally. Side BC extended, side BA extended, and then side AC. It's tangent on the outside. It's tan this circle is tangent on the outside to these three. This circle is tangent on the outside to these three. Uh, and unfortunately, I'm just noticing now I've drawn one little thing wrong. The radius of, this, of these circles doesn't lie on the angle bisectors that I've drawn here. It lies slightly off. off. So that's, that radius is, this radius is probably here. It comes down perpendicular like that. So, unfortunate drawing mistake. So you have, you have three circles. And each one is tangent to the external sides of the triangle. These are called the X circles. And I'll, I'll leave this as a challenge problem. It's a problem out of the book. And, and I, have, I spent the morning thinking of uh, about Andrew's question on geometry project number two. Uh, so I haven't given this any thought. In fact, I don't even know where to start. But it turns out that the, the three X circles, circle A, circle B, and circle C, have an interesting relationship with the inscribed circle of the triangle. And that relationship is, according to problem number four in section 1.4, that relationship is as follows. 1 over r, 1 over the radius of the inscribed circle of the original triangle, equals 1 over ra plus 1 over rb plus 1 over rc. Sorry, I kind of ran out of room there. So the reciprocal of the radius of the inscribed circle is equal to the sum of the reciprocals of the radius of the x scribed circles. And again, it's just an amazing, it's amazing how rich geometry is, how many fascinating problems you can find that just come out of just a simple, simple triangles. And I'll, I'll leave that as a challenge problem. As I said, I have no idea uh, off the top of my head how you would come up solving that. I'm, I'm sure it's not super difficult, but uh, 
it's a it's a neat idea. And again, until I read this chapter of the book in preparing for this lecture, I'd never even heard of these X circles. Yeah, fascinating field geometry. Okay, thanks for watching.